I'm gonna tell you why you need to stop ego lifting today. Yo, what's good everybody? Welcome back to another video. So I have been thinking about making this video for a very, very long time. And it just so happened, I got a, a rude awakening. I got a reminder, pretty much. I got a reminder why I needed to make this video. And pretty much what this video is gonna be about, guys, is if you've been following my journey, you know I've been bodybuilding, I've done CrossFit, I've done powerlifting, I've done it all, right? But one thing that I haven't really done is lift light and doing that in a bodybuilding type style. This past year, guys, I've been going super light, like lightweight, high reps. If you remember my lifting last year, I even did a series on this, me and Isaiah. Remember, we did very heavy deadlifts. We did very heavy squats, bench press, shoulder press. It seemed like every single exercise we did, we would go heavy. And I'm telling you, my body paid the price. I remember waking up in the morning with terrible, terrible lower back pain after squat day. Shoulder pain just all over because I was just so stupid. I'm such an ego lifter and I know you probably are. We all are. We're all guilty of this stupid mistake. Ego lifting, going into the gym, want to be macho. Oh, give me these 120s, but I need like two freaking people to help me get it here. Help me get it here. Okay, help me get it up. Help me get it up. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, you get the point. I was just lifting like an absolute idiot and my body paid the price, guys. I had lower back pain, tons and tons of just body issues. My knees would hurt, my elbows would hurt, my shoulders, my chest, my back. It wasn't until this year uh, that I started training with Ross and we started just lifting light, just lightweight, focusing on the muscle, focusing on the contraction, slow and steady, having control of the weight, and really, really just focusing on the exercise. And I'll tell you what, guys, I look better than I ever have in my life. My legs look bigger, my chest looks fuller, my shoulders, my arms, everything looks 10 times better compared to how I used to look last year when I used to just go savage in the gym, guys. Savage, right? Like I was squatting 500 for reps. We were deadlifting 600 pounds. We were shoulder pressing 100 minimum, sometimes 120. Just doing the most stupidest things. Now look, I get it. If you wanna be a power lifter and you wanna go heavy, by all means, go. But this video is for the average person. I don't want you to make the same mistake that I have, okay? It took me almost damn near seven years to finally figure it out and say, you know what? Hmm, maybe I shouldn't lift heavy. Maybe having 500 pounds on my freaking spine is probably not the best decision. And it wasn't until I got back with Isaiah, so me and Isaiah started lifting again now that the keto cut was over, and Isaiah lifts heavy all the time. So I started to lift heavy with him. I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go heavy. Isaiah's going heavy, I'm gonna go heavy. And wow, the next day my back was in agonizing pain, and I was like, oh yeah, I forgot about this back pain, because I did. I totally forgot that I used to have back pain, shoulder issues, joint issues, elbow issues, because for the first, because for the first 22 weeks of the keto cut, which was the first 22 weeks of this year, I did not lift heavy. When we did squat, we don't ever go over 225. When we did shoulder press, we'd go like, I don't know, 30s. Um, when we'd go bench press, the highest we'd go is 225. And there's a reason for that, guys. It was because it's all about going slow, contraction, really tight time under tension, really just focusing on what body part, what muscle group you really wanna hit. And so I'm telling you, you don't need to go heavy to get the chest you want. You don't need to go heavy to get the legs you want. Like I just said, I'll post pictures right here. Boom, boom. These are the best my legs have ever looked. And these legs did not squat 400, 500 pounds for the past half a year, okay? So yes, you could say, yeah, they were probably built years ago, but again, I didn't lose any muscle. In fact, I probably gained a bit of muscle and they look so much better now. So I wanna make this video short, I wanna make this video sweet. Stop ego lifting. 
Just stop it. I know it's easier said than done. I'm guilty of it. I am still guilty to this day of it. There'll be days I go to the gym like I'm not gonna lift heavy, but I, I'm with my friends, I'm with my buddies, and they're all lifting heavy, so then I, I know I can do it, but I probably shouldn't. Um, whenever I say no, my body thanks me. And whenever I just give in like an absolute idiot, my body reminds me why I'm an idiot. So again, if you're tired of pain, if you're tired of body aches, joint problems, just stop going heavy, guys. You can get the same effects, the same results from going lighter than you were when you're going heavy. It's all about time under tension. It's all about really focusing on the muscle groups you wanna focus on and form, guys. Form is another huge thing. Make sure your form's right. I've seen so many guys in the gym, their form is just trash. And look, I get it, we were all newbies, but you need to learn how to do the exercise. If you're doing an exercise and it's hurting your back, it's hurting your arms, hurting your shoulders, then you probably shouldn't be doing it or you're probably doing it the wrong way. So focus on form, focusing on control. And again, you're probably going too heavy. Lighten the weight. Again, there is nothing wrong with, if you're, for example, there is nothing wrong with doing shoulder press, uh, doing a weight that you can do 20 to 25 times or even 30 times compared to a freaking 120 that you can only do four and a half reps with the form absolutely garbage. You're swinging your back. And, and again, same thing with biceps. Like, you know, why don't you just do a, why don't you get, why don't you get a weight that you can do at least 30 times instead of something you can only curl six and your back is arch and you're like this, it just makes no sense. So I'm telling you today, stop ego lifting. Once I stopped ego lifting, guys, all my body pain went away, all my joint pain went away, all my knee pain went away, all my shoulder pain went away. So I'm making this video for you. For you, yes you, I'm talking to you. You're the one with the body pains, you're the one that wakes up in the morning feeling like you've been hit by an 18 wheeler. Why are you putting 500 pounds, 600 pounds, 700 pounds on your spine? That's probably not the best decision. There's many, many other ways, smarter ways to train. And I know, and yes, I know it took me years and years to finally figure that out. But hey, this is why I'm here. I'm making this video for you guys. Don't make the same mistake that I did. Um, stop ego lifting. Focus on time under tension. Focus on contracting the muscles. Focus on what muscle group you're actually trying to hit. You know, whether you're trying to hit your upper chest, really focus on it, like squeeze it, and, and, and know that it's there. Once you get that mind-muscle connection, I'm telling you guys, you will take your muscle growth, your bodybuilding career, or your bodybuilding passion, whatever, your physique, you will take your, you will take your physique to the next level. I'm telling you, it takes time. It really does like really just, you know, focusing on like if you're trying to hit your quad, your hamstrings, you know, if you're trying to hit your chest, you gotta understand you're trying to hit your chest, not your shoulder, so take your shoulder out of it. That's what a lot of us tend to do. When we try to hit a certain body part, we end up using other body parts as well. So again, it takes time, but you will get it down. So. Anyways, guys, that is the short and simple video. I just want you guys to lift smarter, not harder. Don't get yourself hurt. You know, there's many, many bodybuilders that, there are many, many bodybuilders out there that I can guarantee if they can do it all over again, they probably would have gone lighter. Best example would be Ronnie Coleman. Ronnie Coleman is an absolute legend, but bless his heart, if you see him nowadays, you'd be like, man, that it's, it's almost sad, you know, he can barely walk, he's got a cane. I mean, I saw him two years ago. I mean, the last time I saw him was a couple of years ago at Body Power, I think 2017, and he was in just really, really bad shape. I mean, could barely walk, can barely stand. And again, if you go look at that videos, man, go look at those videos when he's squatting 700 pounds and he's like, yeah, buddy, yeah, buddy, just being us gone, yeah, buddy. It's like, dude, it just, it wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth it. All that for what? Yes, he was an absolute legend, but there are other legends out there that did things that he did. Maybe not as one as many Olympias, but again, that looked just looked just as great, that can walk fine, can play with their kids. And again, you don't want to get yourself hurt doing bodybuilding. Don't be stupid. Just focus. <clears throat> Stop ego lift. Take the ego out of it and put the brain. 
take your ego out of it and start thinking smarter, guys. So there you go. I hope you did like this video. If you did, please leave a like. Please hit a like. So anyways, guys, that's the video. I hope you did learn something, I hope. <clears throat> So anyways, guys, that is the video. I hope you learned something. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, what are you doing? What are you doing? Hit that subscribe button, baby! We're bringing the vibes. I'm giving you all the information, guys. I'm, 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 giving, I'm giving you everything that I've learned over the years, all the mistakes that I've made. I'm giving them to you so you don't make that same mistake and you don't waste any time. So please, Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and tell your friends, tell your mom, tell your uncle, tell your grandpa, tell your grandma, tell everybody about me, and tell them come, come watch my videos. I promise I'll put a smile on their face. And you know what that means. And if you're watching this right now, you know what that means. That means that you woke up for some things that you are winning. Sorry, your stress, all your problems can't phase you, can't phase me, because you and I are already winning, fam. I absolutely love you. We'll see you on the next video. Peace.